Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and while we've made some remarkable advancements in the fight against breast cancer, there's still so much more work that needs to be done. Absolutely, and at the forefront of this fight is Nancy Brinker, who has dedicated 40 years of her life to find a cure. Mrs. Brinker started the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure in honor of her sister, of course, Susie. She has now started a grassroots program. It's called the Promise Fund of Florida. And also joining us is Brenda Martinez Garcia, who was diagnosed with breast cancer and had received the treatment that she needs because of the Promise Fund of Florida. It's a great story. And finally, Liliana Herrera, a health navigator for the Promise Fund. Welcome, Welcome to you. all of you. Bienvenida. Gracias. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Ms. Brinker, look, you know, the Promise Fund of Florida is something that's growing tremendously. You've teamed up with the First Lady is helping you with the fight against breast cancer. Talk a little bit about what the Promise Fund is. Well, the Promise Fund really was organized until when we realized the paucity of care we have <clears throat> in Central Florida, because that's where I live. And we found that we had between 80 and 100,000 women who had no primary care, no medical home, no access to the kinds of screening and early treatment that one needs for breast or cervical cancer. So we created a group, all citizens who live in our county and others, and we have created a women's center concept at our federally qualified health care center, a mammography center, which was given to us by Hologic. Thank you, heavens. Thank you, Hologic. <laughs> and um, then we uh, have 10 community partners who do very much like what we do. And so in the amount of time that we have been operating, we have 10 oh. navigators who reach into their communities and bring the patients to the, where they belong and have their first real relationship, medical home that we can give them. As they go through screening, if they need any kind of treatment or continuum of care, we have a program for that. And we see them from beginning to the end, even addressing the social determinants. That's fantastic. I want to bring in Brenda. By the way, Brenda does not speak English, so I'm going to help her with the translation. Uh, let me just share a little bit of her story first. Uh, I'm reading here. She was diagnosed with breast cancer, but she is doing fantastic. She's a mother of two beautiful children. She has a nine-year-old daughter and a seven-year-old boy. She was unable to pay for the mammogram, ultrasound, even the chemo treatment. And guess who came in? Oh, the, promise the Promise Fund of Florida. So while I share her story, Brenda, um, my question to you is, tell me how much they help the Promise Fund and how you're doing today. Dime cómo te ayudó el Promise Fund y cómo está Brenda hoy. Eh, bien, gracias a Dios, estoy bien. She's y, doing great, she says, thank God. Y creo que tengo que agradecer mucho a Promise Fund. I'm very eh, grateful to the Promise Fund. Porque me ha ayudado demasiado. Eh, yo necesitaba hacer una biopsia, no tenía los recursos. She had to get a biopsy done. She didn't have any resource to get that done. Y gracias a Dios pude encontrar el programa Promise Fund. And she was able to find the Promise Fund. ¿Y cómo te sientes hoy? ¿Cómo estás hoy? How do you feel today? Bien, me siento bien. Creo que he avanzado demasiado. Creo que creo que he vencido el cáncer. Oh, she says she's doing great. She knows she's beat this. And Liliana, I'm going to bring you in because she just told me that you have driven her to Tampa for all the treatments she has received. This is amazing. This is all because of the Promise Fund. Right. That is exactly it. Uh, Promise Fund had made it possible for her to be treated, to save her life, allowed her to continue to be a mother until her kids will be grown ups. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we had to transport the patient to Tampa to receive treatment. So for 17 months, wow. we've been driving from West Palm Beach stayed at the hospital for six hours, received the retriever, bring her back, mm. translating for her, because obviously English is not her first language. This is what it's really all about. Yeah. I mean, it's like not just a fun, but a holding the hand of the patient all the way through the process. Right. It is what it's all about. And um, <clears throat> for me, it's because um, she's a living embodiment of what happens when people care. And I feel like my sister never would have died if she'd had the care. And that there's 16,000 so of her? Yeah, 16,000 people that we have helped in Palm Beach County as of November. That's and crazy. we're going to double it next year. Uh, and we're going to double it the next year. Bless you. And the next year Bless until you. we have it done. And we're going to replicate all over the country if local people will step forward do what they need to do to bring a wall around these patients and help them. Te veo emocionada. ¿Qué estás pensando? What are you thinking? I see such emotion in your eyes. Tell me what you're thinking right now. Dime qué estás pensando. Creo que he encontrado un ángel para mí. She says she found an angel. Estoy agradecida con Liliana porque me ha apoyado en cada momento. 
She says she's grateful to Liliana. She says she's so grateful to Liliana and everyone who has helped her along the way. She said that not only has she become a friend, but now a sister. This is so beautiful. Well, speaking of helping, we have something for Brenda. Vamos, vamos. And we at the Balancing Act wanted to help Brenda and her kids, so let's take a look here. Esto es todo para usted. Thanks to our friends at the Giving Tree, we got lots of clothes for school and backpacks. Oh, this is a vacuum cleaner. Una aspiradora para la casa. Tengo que trabajar. Ajá, y se hace solito. I know, entonces by itself, lo hace solito así. ¿Cómo te sientes? Muy contenta, muy agradecida. Gracias por todo. She's very happy. She's thrilled. That's what it's all about, right, Montel? Absolutely. Absolutely. One more time, give them the website for the Promise Fund. The Promise Fund of Florida.org. And we got to get back to work and do right. more stuff, we right? Get back to get <laughs> back to work. And of course, you can always get more information from our website, thebalancingact.com. Thank you, ladies, so much thank for being a part of the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, Brenda.